Hi, we're Michael and Sharon, a retired couple traveling part-time with our fifth wheel and a cat named Merlin. Follow along with us on our 2021 summer trip through Rocky Mountain National Park and on to South Dakota and North Dakota. We started our drive on the Trail Ridge Road around 9 a.m. and it took about three hours to reach the Kawanichi Visitor Center on the west side. We only stopped about three times on the way there. The first of those stops was the Rainbow Curve Overlook. At this point, we are above the tree line. Here, the elevation is too high and the temperatures get too low to support tree growth. Trail Ridge Road is the highest continuous paved road in North America. The highest point is reportedly 12,183 feet. Here's the area of the Alpine Visitor Center. We stopped to look around, but knew we'd be coming back, so we didn't go inside. The views are so beautiful here, but even in the last week of June, the temperature is 36 degrees and really windy. We meant to ask a ranger about these marks in the snow that we saw, but forgot to. Please call men if you know what they are.
We stopped at Milner Pass to see the Continental Divide, which is the area where the drainage from rain and runoff from snow separate and flow either to the Atlantic or the Pacific Ocean. This is the west end of Trail Ridge Road at the Kawanichi Visitor Center. It was raining when we went into the building, and when we came out, there was a river of black water flowing through the parking lot. The ranger said it was a black ash runoff from the fire of 2020. On the way back, we stopped at Poudre Lake. It was starting to rain as we saw a female moose and her calf. The drive back past the Alpine Visitor Center area was quite a different experience than earlier in the day as we now found ourselves driving through the clouds.
Stopping at Forest Canyon Overlook is highly recommended as the views from here are spectacular. This scenic viewpoint sits at 11,716 feet in elevation. Forest Canyon is almost 2,000 feet deep and has been formed by the Big Thompson River. We made one last stop at Sheep Lakes to look for bighorn sheep, but we didn't see any there. We found some elk grazing along the river and then saw bighorn sheep after passing through Estes Park. We hope you enjoyed these views from Trail Ridge Road. Thanks for watching and join us in the next episode to see our hike to Adams Falls and around Lake Irene. Please like and subscribe and hit that notification bell and don't forget to comment below about those markings we saw in the snow.